Heavens no! For hours. Ah, oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then. Finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. There is now a curfew in effect at night. Any civilian on the street... What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do. A happy society is built on a happy past. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back call. wrong with that one. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Of course he'd have to break the tube to get out. Break it for everybody. Clive Birth Whistle. You're off at the party, aren't you? That little shit. He wants my view. Well, let's see what Miss Bing thinks of you right now, Clive. <laughs> I 
think we can live with that. Nothing wrong with that one. to you, Prudence. You're not coming back, are you, Prue? But where did she go? a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. <laughs> You are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! We don't have all day! You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. No! Call security. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Take your joy. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. Take your joy. Take your joy. Oh. I'll fix you! 
You smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time! Oh, Christ, I thought of those bastards chased me. They were bridges, weren't they? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Those bobbies seem to have locked me in. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Terribly thoughtful of them. really did run off. And she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. I insist on it. <laughs> but at three, I hope you'll all take a quick break for our daily recreation activity. Today we'll, once again, all gather around the telly for a rousing round of Simon Says. Oh, I wish I could I'll need some odds and bobs and bits of That ought to make up. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. What happened to him? Or rather, who? going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I... I promise. But... but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I... hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers! I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other.
Cheer up, you bastard! Perk up, you! That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet. The bridge. I've got to get to the bridge. In the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. I am coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. This doesn't give me food poisoning. Tea set. Funny, Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. of Gilead. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Maybe I can make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds. Otherwise I'll never feel better. A water pump. Nice. There's a few more in the garden district, aren't there? I ought to fill up a canteen or two, shouldn't I?
nice suit. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? Ho 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 ho. You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back from me. I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, oh, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who can store most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. It works. I feel loads better. Percy was never wrong about a thing like that. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. to take that elevator. I well, hope no one notices. Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I could write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. Or we'll leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. Wallet. 
ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome warmly Arthur, King of the Parade! Assuming you can keep blood off that lovely suit, especially his. <laughs> I'm sorry? Uh, I don't... I don't think I know you. Of course you know me. You got me sacked from the old current. I, uh... I, I don't remember that. I, I, I don't work there anymore. You thought one of my articles was insufficiently original. Danny Defoe! You, you've lost a bit of weight. To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now let's choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Hey, sort of guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's gonna come with strong with that lead pipe. You gotta wanna block that. Drop his guard. I've got a sinking feeling. Oh god, this on. Oh god. it loose. I'd need it. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motelene dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medal. I 
I suppose now that no one is, I'd better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. Please just lie down. I can go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. All right, now I just need that power seal. So, just leave the body there and move on. And if you see a lot of people walking past someone in the middle of the street, you can safely trust that they've already realized there's nothing further they can do for that person. Just pretend that the person in the street is not there. Act sooner or later, they won't be. Take it from me, Uncle Jack. What's done is done. Best of you all move on. We'll be glad you did. Look, it's not you, it's me. Supplemented dimotony, the fuel of the future now. Well, I think that's everything I had when they jumped me. I 
if I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes. yourself, Arthur. <laughs> Is this what we've come to? occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Uh, hello? Anyone out there? Help! Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here, over here. Do you want to get thrashed? You're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous! Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Well, they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy and it like flips a switch and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits? Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! Strange how everyone looks the same. Like we're all just... I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good lie today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red. And, and her voice was like Mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in a tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15pm. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you. Arthur. I love you too. safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here.
rotting. Want the food. Locked. Aha, but I remember how to make a lock pick. It's all falling apart. The center cannot hold. I got your medals. Thank you. Supreme you don't know what these mean to me. To know the sum of his fault. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back into the sea. Then they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah, sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to cross the bridge. Last forever, does it? Sometimes I hear horsemen at night. Doors of reception were cleansed. We could see everything as it is. Infinite. I believe I have to rip up my suit. Well, I don't think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. 
I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. Welcome to the bloody garden district. What a waste of time. Who wouldn't I kill for a sandwich? I did think I used to run a hundred meters. Save a bit for the next minute. Bloody hell, I'd forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I'm gonna run like hell when it lets me out. Oh dear. One bridge down, and I'm off to the train station. This is where we hang them, isn't it? They broke into the police station, tried to burn the register so the Germans wouldn't know which kids to take. We didn't want the Germans to be angry, did we? We were so scared, or maybe just so tired, so we hanged them to encourage the others. I wonder if we'd made the Germans take the kids by force instead of bringing them down to the station singing London Bridge if things would be different now. <sighs> I hope that's the worst thing I remember, says the chap heading to the train station. Oh, what lovely memories are waiting for me there. Well, at least I can get on the train tracks there and get the hell out of town. No, I just need to find the train station. I want to be able to see it from a distance. Bloody hell, boy! So get out! You're not my neighbour! We told you, but... And here we are. Not quite as grand as it used to be. My god, they've kidnapped some poor. Still, the tracks go from here all the way to the bridge, and then across the river. And then all over Britain. I wonder if Prue made it this far. I wonder why Mr. Kite sent her to the Garden District at all. She could have just popped over the bridge from the station at Apple Hole. <laughs> 